Now, and I also want to mention to people an article you had just put out, both you and I were falsely accused recently. Um, the, the newest accusation is that we lied about Marcel Lefebvre celebrating the new mass for a few years. I want to point everybody to an article that John wrote uh, a few weeks back. I put it in the show notes. In fact, I'll just share my screen real quick so y'all can see the title of it and go and check it out. It's at uh, trueorfalsepope.com. Again, a direct link is there in the show notes. The article is, Did Archbishop Lefebvre Say the New Mass? Kennedy Hall Only Makes Things Worse for Lefebvre and the SSPX is the title. Again, February uh, 2023. Um, highly recommended that you go and read this because it gives you the nitty gritty when it comes to the question of whether or not Lefebvre celebrated the new mass and whether or not we're liars and things like that. I find it interesting that what I'm saying from SSPX apologists consistently is a desire for character assassination rather than addressing the apologetic objections directly. H have you noticed that as well? I have, Michael. There's a presumption of malice, and that's the problem. If you look at even the society's position on Vatican II, there is the presumption of error and heresy, an intention to convey error and heresy from a lot of perspectives. So that's that's the problem. I mean, it's one thing to say we disagree factually with yeah. whether Archbishop Lefebvre celebrated the Mass, sure. and I still would concede it's a question of fact. I've claimed, and you've claimed, and we've shown, we have a factual basis for that assertion. Don't yeah. accuse us of calumny or intentionally denigrating his reputation, because yeah. there's a factual basis for it. And if that factual basis can be modified, or if it's an error, then we're happy to, to concede that. Uh, but that yeah. it hasn't been disproven to me at this point. And certainly it wasn't done to denigrate the archbishop's reputation. If anything, sure. I was trying to show that he was open to the reforms and he had good faith, at least at the beginning. That really was my intent. Yeah, yeah, it was a good thing. But I mean, I guess from the SSPX perspective, if we say that he celebrated the new mass, that's a slander in their eyes because, in fact, the SSPX says even the best celebrated Novus Ordo is an offense to God and contains poison. So I guess for them, it's a slander. Yeah. Um, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. God bless.